of the most prominent sound shaping tools in Absinthe 5 is the new Etherizer. The Etherizer is a grain-based effect that breaks the audio signal up into several small snippets, or grains. These grains can then be manipulated in real time for a particularly innovative effect. The grains can be transformed via pitch and time-based modulation sources, while feedback and randomization can also be induced for particularly interesting effects. Sound is first fed through a granular delay. Increasing the random parameter smears the taps of the delay for an interesting effect. Next you have control of both the rate and feedback of the grains. Again, the random parameter here can add a lot of life to the effect. You can also change the size of the grains and their overall pitch. You'll see a graphical representation of these changes displayed below the effect. Lastly, you can apply a resonant filter to the granular process, which has the ability to create pitched material. You can even confine the pitches to particular chords. Now you may be wondering if you can use the etherizer to process audio from an external source, and the answer is yes. Absinthe can be launched as an effect inside your host sequencer, so you can run audio tracks directly through Absinthe's effect section, including the etherizer. Absinthe 5 also features two new unique filter types. The first is the cloud filter. This is sort of like a miniature version of the etherizer, but available in line with each oscillator. When choosing the cloud filter, parameters for the grains and a resonant bandpass filter will appear. The second new filter type is Supercomb. This is a more powerful version of the existing comb filter that's capable of a wider range of physical modeling effects. Several filters now also support feedback within their signal chain. These filters will have a dedicated feedback tab that allows you to configure the feedback settings. The feedback will occur within the resonance loop, so increasing the filter's resonance will also cause the feedback to increase. Finally, the Wave Shaper modulation sources have been improved by adding oversampling to improve their overall quality, lending them a smoother, analog-type sound.